So here's Andre Shear. He's a member of the uh, Centralia Community College baseball team. So first question I have for you, you know, you're out here. It's the alumni game. Uh, what are some things that you've uh, kind of seen and enjoyed having these guys come back and, and represent the college? Um, honestly, you get to see all the good talent that's been through here. Um, even the guys in the past, you can tell they still are all about the Blazer family, and we all get along, have a good time. We have people coming out here, coaches, old coaches, family members, uh, enjoying the game, playing with us, and all having fun. Everybody gets excited, and it's a fun thing to be around. Yeah, and then, you know, obviously for fall ball, games like this don't count on the record, but you, know, you still have the opportunity to, to work on things and to improve. What are some things you're trying to focus on this fall to uh, get ready for spring? Um, staying more consistent and uh, hitting my spots a little bit more when I'm pitching. Uh, focusing on my, that's a long ball, <laughs> focusing on my slider and uh, getting that to bend the way I want it to and slide across the zone the way I want it to. You know, and here you are at Centralia, and, you know, there's a, a lot of other guys have talked about, you know, mindset change here at the college. You know, the team's a lot different with a, with a new coaching staff. Um, what's it been like for you to, to see Coach Atkinson come in and, and uh, for his first year? Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, when I got the text and he had called me, actually, and introduced himself, and instantly I was excited, more excited than last year. I hate to say it, but I felt like uh, all this group of guys has more of a – team camaraderie rather than I camaraderie I guess yeah um, so it's a little bit better you can tell the base is building and we're all enjoying ourselves we're steps ahead of last year and it's a lot more fun for everybody being around he's doing a great job yeah that's one of the things I know that he's been coaching and preaching is uh, that, that mindset change and, and really seeing that and you know and one of the things about having a mindset and being here at this college level you gotta, have, you gotta be motivated you gotta be push yourself and has there been someone in your life who's been that motivated and that inspiration to keep going harder? Um, honestly, kind of my dad. He's always kind of made sure I've been there uh, on the right track and focusing on the right things. I may not like exactly what he has to say all the time, but he does his best and makes sure I keep my head on straight mm -hmm. and focus on the bigger picture. So. And then for a lot of players as they're growing up, they'll, they'll you know, see different major league players they kind of like to, to mimic their either their style or just their attitude. Is there a player you've seen that you kind of like, you know, I kind of like that, that player's approach to the game. I want to be kind of like that. Uh, probably Robbie Cano. I've always been drawn to him. He kind of plays the game with the swag, uh, plays it smart and respectfully. He does his job all the time, and, I mean, he's incredibly good. So. Yeah, easily one of the smoothest players I've ever seen in the game. And then uh, last question I have for you, you know, you see a lot of kids running around. What advice do you have for those young players who want to make it to this level? Um, honestly, just keep working hard and listen to your coaches. There's a lot of coaches out there that really do have your best interest, and uh, even if they don't, it's best to listen to them and get their ideas and see what works for you and what doesn't. You shouldn't uh, want to stop playing because you don't like something or because it gets hard. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much.